Now then, with Affinity Design Workbook, um, we're still working on the core skills and we're at the arranging part on page 83. And we're going to be arranging some of these triangles. So on the layers panel, expand the object arranging artboard and select the arranging layer. Well, that's what we've done there. And we've got the front option there. With the triangle tool, draw a triangle which overlaps the top blue triangle. Expand the arranging layer to see the new triangle has been placed at the top of the layer. So there's the arranging layer selected. We'll just not expand that at the moment because what we want to do is go to there, select a triangle, and let's move that across. It may well be a slightly different size, but you can see there's the arranging layer and there's the triangle. We've added the triangle to the arranging layer. Now in the layers panel, we're moving it, because we're rearranging here. The new triangle has been placed at the top of the layer stack by default. But what we want to do is move the yellow one, I think it is, in the layers panel, select the yellow back triangle, and draw another overlapping triangle. This time it's drawn between the yellow and red triangles rather than at the top. So we select the back triangle, and you can see it's selected there, but we've got to select another triangle here. Oh. And by drawing that there, we can put that in there. It's more or less centered. And you can see over here, it's gone between that one, that one, and that one. So it's put it in the right position because we had that one there selected. Let's see if we can do that again. We'll put that up there. Let's select the green triangle. The green triangle, green triangle selected. Now you have to be careful you don't try and draw the triangle on top of the existing selection because in the desktop, all it does, as you saw just before, is move the existing one. So, and green is selected, so let's draw a purple triangle. We'll change it to that color there. Select the Move tool. And we can make it whatever size we like. But there it is, tucked in. Let's get the layers back up. There it is, tucked in just above the green layer. And you can see it affects the colours of the layers above it too. Because the layer above that pink is a palish blue, but it's being... Uh, you can see through that. So that's the, uh, that's the end of the arranging layer on um, page 83. Arranging, no it's not quite the end. Let's move over the page, you can hear the page is turning here because we're changing the object order. And that's simply a matter of selecting the turquoise triangle for example. Click and in the toolbar you click back one, forward one, move to back or move to front. Put it behind the green one. Put it in front of the green one. Put it between the green and the over the top of the one and the one above it. And of course it's hidden completely in the background there. And it's back on top there. Okay, that's that one there.